Hey guys, welcome back to Do It Live, and there's been a whole lot of stuff happening, um, so I have been delayed in making my videos. I do apologize for that, but most of it's over with, and we can start making more videos and reviews for you guys, and maybe save you some money, maybe f show you a product that you didn't think you would buy. And today, that product is the Hori Fighting Stick Mini 4, and it's for the PS3, PS4, and PC. Let's open it up, and let's take a look. So today I'm bringing you guys the Hori Fighting Stick Mini 4. Um, it's a miniature arcade stick. Uh, so if you guys don't know what that is or what an arcade is, since apparently it's been so long since any have been around, uh, those machines that are at like movie theaters and cineplexes that have the arcade cabinets with buttons and the joystick, that is what a fighting stick is. Um, I just call it a stick, but that's what this is and the purpose is to give you an arcade like experience at home uh, or a different experience for your fighting games uh, essentially fighting games you can use it for other things too but this little gadget here which is actually quite small it's about the size of my face uh, was only $49.99 that's in Canada so you'll find it cheaper in US around $39.99 and apparently it goes on sale often so it's something you can pick up pretty easily and don't feel like you're investing too much into this, just to try it out. So, main purpose of these uh, joysticks are to give you the arcade experience at home uh, or take your fighting game experience to the next level uh, outside of like uh, the usual PS4 and PS3 controllers. One thing that's really nice is that this works on PC and that's what I'm going to be using it for um, for most of this video. I do have a PS4 as well. Uh, but, again, <clears throat> I'm at a loss for words. So, the reason why I bought this, yes. So, the reason why I bought this was it was only $40. I got it for even cheaper, 25 bucks off Toys R Us, but let's get to that another time. And um, I don't have a PS4 fight stick. I have a PS3 fight stick that technically works on my PS4. However, I have to have a PS4 controller in addition to that in order for it to work. It's like some sort of legacy. Uh, drivers or something like that. In any case, you need a PS4 controller to use your old PS3 6 on PS4. Another thing is that controller always has to be on while playing. So it's been pretty annoying sometimes that it'll disconnect some um, during play or have some issues. And when I go to my brother's house, he doesn't have a second PS4 controller and I don't exactly want to lug a big joystick as well as PS4 controller to my brother's place just to play some casual games. So something like this is great to have on the go, or if you're looking to try arcade sticks for the first time. This is cheaper than a PS4 controller. Most fighting sticks are at least $150, that's Canadian, or even more to get into. And when people are debating going from a joystick, sorry, from gamepad to a joystick, it's a huge investment and something like this is nice to have. You use it. Once you feel really comfortable on it and you want to make the shift to joystick, this is something that you would jump out of and into the bigger ones and still have this on the side for any of your friends that want to try it as well. So it's been over a week and I've been able to play with the Hori Fight Stick Mini and I gotta say it's very, very, very good. Um, at least at what it is designed and supposed to do. For the price tag, I don't think you're gonna get 
any fight sig that comes anywhere close to what this can perform and provide. So I've used it for about a week playing Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 4, and a couple other um, emulated games like um, Last Blade 2. I don't think you guys know that, but some old Neo Geo games. And I gotta say, it really, it really held up. Uh, there was no problems with like input lag or anything like that or the travel time of the buttons. The travel felt really good, but it's no Sanwa and it's not very sensitive like those are meant to be. Uh, and But that's okay for the casual user or your, your casual game. You just got to get the full keystroke when you're when you're playing with this and it works really really well. Um, I like the button layout. How it's the Vulex style, so one down, the next one is a little bit higher, and then the last two are straight. Just like that, it's perfect for the hand. But I gotta say, it's a little bit weird to use on your lap if you're not using anything that's too slick. Um, you do have to hold down a little bit and you have to like squeeze your legs together and you're in a little bit of a cramped position to use it. But if you had a base or a table to use it on, it's really, really nice to use. It feels pretty solid. Uh, I gotta say the joystick feels really good. I like the square gate. The dead zone isn't too big. It's really, really nice. Really responsive and uh, it feels really good to use. Um, if we're going for what complaints I have with the stick, it is a bit small. Of course, that's what you're expecting going into this. It is called the Fight Stick Mini, not average size or large so it is a little bit small the buttons are small along with that and it made me miss my uh, my crap 3 my Hori Real Arcade Stick Pro because uh, those buttons are significantly bigger uh, than these so at times where I go to maybe do like a focus attack or hit two buttons at once like this uh, I may slip because the finger position is not what I'm used to um, or like when I go to smack like the like a kick or something or one of the buttons or block uh, for Mortal Kombat I noticed that I might miss um, just because of the the placement and the size of the buttons that I'm used to so that's one thing you got to keep in mind going into this it is smaller so remember that the buttons are smaller the size is smaller you got to get used to that but if you're just doing some casual gaming, your first time into Arcade 6, this is a great place to start, a great place to give it a shot and see how it works for you. I gotta say, it, I was able to adapt pretty well and I was able to do challenges, which you guys saw on the screen there, um, without much issue. It was a little bit harder to do on my lap, but as soon as I put it down on a stable table, stable table, it worked out really, really well for me and I really enjoyed it. Uh, also, it's really annoying to lug around the big stick um, to your friend's house if they don't have a stick or they only have one stick. So it's nice to bring this over and be able to do some two-player gaming or play with your friends when you bring it over. So it is really good. Um, and for that price point, I gotta say, you're not getting anything better than this. This is a really, really great idea for casuals or uh, people who are new to the joystick world. Just because it's really low investment to get in, you get the full experience uh, of an arcade stick. Minus some caveats here or there that you have to get used to. But otherwise, you are getting the experience. It's great to give it a shot. And I encourage anyone who's debating getting into fight sticks or doesn't have the money to get into one, give this a try. You won't be sorry. It'll be great to have. And when you finally make the step up, to one of the bigger sticks like the Re Arcade Stick Pro or the V3, any of those, the Quambas, all that good stuff, the TE2s, you'll have a second stick for your friends if they want to try it out or maybe any of your friends that come over. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a little bit of uh, education into Fight Sticks and the Fight Stick Mini by Hori. And maybe you'll grab one for yourself. So if you enjoy it again, Hit that like button. Don't forget to get subscribed as I like to endeavor and check out little things like this that can maybe save a purchase for you. Save some extra money while you're waiting to step up to the big leagues or you find a better deal. Of course, you can always get something like this while you're waiting for a better deal. So, 
again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Lots more videos to come. I, I'm sorry for the delay on this one. There's been a whole lot of stuff going on, but I have a whole slew of videos ready for you guys. Can't wait to put it out so you guys don't forget to do it live.